Throughout my whole career, I have focused on trying to educate undergraduate and graduate students and, and work together with them to develop technologies to try and improve health for patients that may not have access to the traditional health system. So we focused on developing low-cost point-of-care technologies to diagnose cancer at its earliest possible stages, as well as more recently trying to develop rugged and affordable technologies to improve newborn care and maternal care in Sub-Saharan Africa. When I came to Rice University, I wanted to think about how we could engage our undergraduate students in solving some of the scientific and technical challenges associated with global health. I began to appreciate much more how important it is for our community as scientists to be engaged in helping shape the public policy agenda, not just around global health, also around domestic health, because if we want the tools that we are developing in our labs to ever impact patients outside of our labs, we have to be part of that conversation. We have to have a real seat at the table, not just a seat at the back of the room. And I think it's never been more important to have the voice of science and the voice of engineering represented in those conversations.